I see you're getting some spider work. Is that a result of the burn or had you seen that before? This is the third burn and every time it seems like it increases. Is this anything you've had to seed or is it just coming on its own native in the seed bank? No seeds. Yeah. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, this has been in the family for about 53 years. It was just a place for recreation. It was 129 acres and now it's about 192 acres. When I came back here in 2001, it was uh, pretty much a badly degraded piece of landscape. So I used my uh, understanding that I've gained from places around the country and tried to restore the ecology here, and that's my goal. Gosh, Bill, as we come up the hill here, you've got some really nice trees. Big they're, white oaks. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yep. Yep. Transitioning to some post oaks up here. And, and this is really characteristic of what you would see where the woodland area transitions to savanna as we approach the grassland area. Exactly, time. so right up here um, on my soils map, right up here, that's where that uh, prairie soil is, right there. Mm -hmm. So Bill's place in particular, we're, we're setting here where the Ozarks, you know, in the deep south of Missouri, meets the glacial till prairies to the north. So this, this area historically had big raging wildfires that crashed down into our savanna and woodland acreages and that's we're sitting right on that line today. Billy, you've got a great stand of native grasses in here, little blue stem and big blue and some gamma over there. And I know you grazed this, but it didn't always look like this. What's some of the history on this field? Well, it wasn't too many years ago that this was uh, fescue. It was just solid fescue and Korean lespedes. I had more fescue than I felt like I could get rid of with herbicide or wanted to get rid, rid of with herbicide. So I had made the decision to use grazing as part of the whole the method. They fit, they fit in to keep fescue from going back to seed, and I use them uh, pretty aggressively on the fescue spring and fall, maybe two grazings. Bill's done a lot of uh, grazing on native species here in his prairie and grassland areas, um, and, and pretty diverse. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there's 80 to 100 different, you know, forb and grass species out there in some of his paddocks. It's something that belongs in my family and you just want to take good care of it. It gives me a lot of peace to see the, the living things restore and that there's harmony as part of it. So it's a, it's a privilege.